Today is another organizational video. I already took care of my art cabinet months ago and now I want to take care of my little drawers as well as this wall storage. First step will be to get everything out. No, no. First step will be to clean up my desk. Then I will get everything out of its little containers onto the desk and only keep those things within reach that I use on an almost daily basis. I will also give you tips on how to store your art supplies in drawers, what kinds of art supplies you could store in there and then we will reorganize it together. Let's go! everything on my desk. I love making chaos. So I'm not using these. They've been in there since the last time I reorganized it and that's that's been a while. I try to place things in my immediate vicinity so that I tend to use it just because I see it. With these it did not work. I don't like pastels and I don't like coal, a charcoal, because you have to fixate it or otherwise it will smear everywhere. I will simply put this in my art supply cabinet. This looks like pure chaos <laughs> but there are some categories. First category would be my cutting equipment. I will keep all of these and dedicate a special drawer for my cutting equipment. I use it quite a lot. I do use my pencils even though I have to <laughs> look for them and place them in there again. They are somewhere. I use it quite a lot. I will keep it in my drawers. Ever since I have my larger watercolor palette, which is this one, I don't use these porcelain saucers anymore. I think I'll place them somewhere else. I have many, many rulers and this circle stencil my husband 3D printed for me. I am going to keep a selection. Most of all I use my steel ruler because I can also cut with the steel ruler. If you use a scalpel with plastic rulers you will cut into the edge and you will have a wobbly edge instead of a straight line and you don't want that. So I use this one mostly. These are the stamps I created for whenever I send out packages and orders and I think I am going to create a little box. I have an empty box that can be filled with material just behind me in the shelf in my workbench and I will put the stamp utensils in there and everything else I need to pack orders. This one my sister gave to me for Christmas. It is a pencil washer. It's foldable and because of the edge up here, you can simply dry your brushes on top of that. Very handy, I love it. So I will stash it somewhere in my little drawers. Wanna be there in the morning. Wanna be the one you're holding. Deep inside, I wanna feel you.
there are several things I will place on my hanging wall. I will put them here so you can see which ones I'm sparing for the wall. Okay, so this is still quite empty, but that's a good thing. Then I can rotate the art supplies that are close to me and hopefully use something that I haven't used in a while. I'll take a look at my art supplies later and stack something in there that I've been wanting to do. Now let's continue with my wall storage. And I also have one shelf, which uh, we'll have to take a look at. Let's talk about the different storage options for a second. There really are only three ways to store something. The first one would be cupboards or a cabinet, which is what I talked about in part one of the organization series. Then there are shelves as well as drawers. And I want to concentrate on the drawers as well as the pegboard that you can see in the background. Items that are good for a pegboard are ones that you use very frequently and I mean almost daily. You really need to have them handy. Maybe they also have difficult shapes and hanging them up is much easier than placing them in a drawer or in your cupboard. You can also combine varying storage styles on this pegboard. You can see I have bins where some pens are in there. I also have a book holder for my sketchbook and a little tray as well as hooks. It is very flexible and can always accommodate what you need. Now I want to talk about items you can store in small drawers, like this letter tray I am using. It is perfect for small separate pieces. I wouldn't store repetitive objects in there that I could also store somewhere else. It is also good for unstackable or fragile things. It is good to store things in there where the perspective from above is helpful. You don't want to store something, six different inks that all have the same lid. You want to have art supplies that are very handy to see as soon as you open the drawer. Okay, I just took a lunch break and now I want to show you what art supplies I chose to use more in the future and therefore I want to have close by. If you hear a little tap tap of feet, that's the puppy. He's awake now. <laughs> First thing you can see, I want to have my water-soluble Caran d'Ache Supercolor pencils out. I love working with them and I haven't done so in a while because it is in my cabinet. And it also is at the very bottom of several things I have to lift up in order to get to it. So I'll just put it here, see what happens if I tend to use it more. I also want to combine them with the Caran Museum Aquarelle assortment I got for Christmas. It is the marine assortment and they are also water soluble but the pigment is higher quality. They are basically only pigment. I want to combine those and use those in some pieces. I'm still thinking it would fit in there, but I think I'm just gonna leave it here. I mean, it fits, fits perfectly. I will have my acrylic inks here. And this massive polychromos pencil case will hang. It will hang here.
Last two things I want to have up there are the Golden Fluid Acrylics. I have two of those, as well as the Artgraph Graphite Stick. It is water-soluble and it could be very nice to uh, work with the water-soluble pencils and the graphite stick. Now all that's left to do is use them. Hopefully you will see me use it in my next vlog. Let's take a final look into the mini drawers as well as the hanging shelf. There is still space in here. But I like it that way because I want to see as I go if there is something I want to have in my immediate vicinity. Let's see. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the Monday. And as the light started. This concludes my organization of this wall hanging space as well as the letter tray. I hope you feel somewhat inspired to go and organize your own art supplies. Maybe you have just as much fun as I do. Let me know if you have any other tips, something I didn't mention that you want me to know about organizing your art supplies on hanging spaces as well as in drawers. I definitely feel motivated to create art now and I am sure you're gonna see some of that in my next video. I can't wait to see you then, hopefully you'll be there again, and I hope you have a great time. Until then. Bye!